four weeks since the last two episodes of Justin's handheld video game console reviews. We reviewed the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance SP, but we forgot to review one more. Is it the Game Boy Micro? No, you stupid idiot, Thomas. It's the Nintendo DS. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Done. Hey, everyone, Justin here. So as you see right here, this is the Nintendo DS. This is the Nintendo DS that was released in 2004 by Nintendo. Let me show you the origin story behind it. After the success of the Game Boy Advance SP, Nintendo was thinking on a new console that will have a touch screen and capability and will be backwards compatible with Game Boy Advance games. And so they took the design of the Game Boy Advance SP and they turned it into something new. And thus, the Nintendo DS was born. Dun 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 dun! This video was made on Video Grew. It'll just look like a regular Game Boy Advance SP. But no, 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 no. Let me show you something. The original Nintendo DS had a mic, it had a battery flash. It was backwards compatible with Game Boy Advance games. It uses the same charger as the Game Boy Advance SP. And even better, it featured a new startup. If you guys never actually owned a Nintendo DS, you're a loser! <laughs> Sorry, audience, Thomas was being a little bit too Thomasy. Yeah, we apologize. If you guys want a Nintendo DS, you guys can get one on Amazon. And the Nintendo DS standed for dual screens. No wonder they made the Game Boy Advance SP in the first place. And when you turn on a DS, it'll start with a new startup. You will be, ta be taken to a new menu. Oh my god! What is this? It has a... It has a... It has a calendar! A clock! A battery storage! Whatever this M thing say. Oh my gosh! It even has a menu! A brightness feature! It has a settings! It has an alarm clock! It has a... It has picked up chat! It has a DS download play! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so amazing! And even better, it can play Nintendo DS games. This is what a Nintendo DS cartridge looks like but when you go to a home screen of a nintendo ds it has a menu screen on the bottom when you see this is what it looks like when there's a gba game inserted and this is what it looks like when there's no gba game inserted it also has a brightness feature oh and by the way the Nintendo DS has a touchscreen feature. You can touch anything you want on the Nintendo DS with your finger, but only it supports on the bottom screen though, which is a shame. Oh, and by the way, the fat Nintendo DSs the hinge breaks so easily. I remembered when I was playing my Nintendo DS on the couch, it broke and and I just had this. I tried gluing it, but it was impossible for me to like 
close it because it I do it like this then that means I have to shove it back in man I can't wait to get a Nintendo DS let me tell you so the retro future if you're watching this please fix my game I mean my Nintendo DS please I watch your videos so yeah anyways this was the Nintendo DS review. See you guys later. Bye. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you. When you shut off the Nintendo DS, it's just like a 1990s TV. So yeah, I wonder where they got the sound from. So anyways, bye for real.